Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft and Tune. And in this video, we are going to talk about device enrollment manager accounts and how you can use them to get Windows devices enrolled. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about enrollment restriction process, how you can create different policies to block enrollment for Windows devices when it comes to version, device type, or device limit. Whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how device enrollment manager account works, what are the benefits of using device enrollment manager accounts, and how a DEM account can help you in preventing granting admin access to a particular user on a specific device. Now, before we go ahead and understand how exactly device enrollment manager works, let's talk about a typical enrollment process. Step number one. As a user, I should be signing to my laptop with admin access so that I can get the device enrolled. Step number two, the Azure AD account that I will use to get the device enrolled will also get admin access on this particular machine, which I'm trying to enroll. But the fact is that if we talk about the concept of least privilege, this configuration is not adhering to typical standards. Now, what do I mean by this? That if I'm using my Azure AD account as a user and if I'm trying to enroll my device, my account is getting admin access or a typical user account is getting admin access on the machine which has been used to get enrolled in Intune. Now, to fix this or to have a policy in place or a standard in place, what you can do, you can create accounts and get them added to DEM or you can have DEM accounts in your tenant, which will be used to get the devices enrolled. Now, let's talk about the process, how it is going to help you to fix this particular scenario. In this case, you can choose either your help desk team or your account onboarding team that specifically belongs to your IT department, get them added to DEM on endpoint.microsoft.com, which is the endpoint portal itself. And in this case, what will happen, a user will not onboard the machine. Instead, a DEM account will be used to onboard the machine. Now, this is something which will work even if you have block personal device policy in place, the one which we have covered in our last video. So technically what will happen, a DEM account will get the device onboarded to Intune. And in this way, DEM account will get the admin access on that particular machine. But if the same machine will be used by any other user, they will not get admin access. And in this way, you can adhere to the standards of least privilege access. Now, this is one of the use case. The other use case is something which we have already discussed in our last video. Let's say the user has unenrolled the devices and you have block personal policy in place. In this case also, you can use the EM account to get the device onboarded. Now, there is a very simple fundamental behind this and that is when a DEM account is used to onboard a machine, the ownership of that particular machine is by default treated as corporate owned. So this was all about knowing how the theoretical part of DEM works. Let me switch to my browser where I have signed in as global admin and let's see all this in action. Okay. So the first thing that I have done is I have created an account named it as IT help desk. And now in order to enable this account as DEM account, go to endpoint.microsoft.com, then go to devices then go to enroll devices and now click on DEM. Now, whichever account you will add over here will get the privilege to get the device enrolled, even if you have block personal device policy in place. Okay, so now I will add that particular account here, which is IT help desk at the rate concepts work.com so that this account can be used to enroll devices. Now the expected behavior is that if a user of my tenant tries to enroll a device, which is a personal device that will not get enrolled. But if the same device is enrolled by IT help desk account, that device will get enrolled as well as the ownership of that particular device will be shown as corporate owned. 
Now, before we go ahead and get a device enrolled, let's just see that whether we have enrollment restriction in place or not, and which has been scoped to all the users or not. Okay, so if I'll click on properties, as you can see, this has been included to all my users who have license. So this group, which is named as license, it includes all of my users with which I cannot enroll devices okay so the last user which we have seen in our enrollment restriction video which was spam is a part of this particular group but the fact is that now the use case is that instead of using PIM, I will use IT help desk and I will try to get the device enrolled. But the question comes that whether IT help desk as a user object is a part of this particular group or not. So let's see that information quickly as well. So I'll go to groups and now I'll go to licenses and then I'll click on members. And let's see whether IT Help Desk is getting listed over here or not. And as you can see, the account IT Help Desk is also listed over here because this account has Intune license. Now, the expected behavior is that both the accounts belongs to the same group wherein I have said that these accounts should not be able to enroll personal devices. But since IT Help Desk account is added as a DEM as well, with this account we can actually go ahead and enroll devices this is the expected behavior so now i'm going to switch to my machine which i will get enrolled with the help of dem as of now you can see the host name of this machine is enrollment restriction and this is the same machine which we are going to enroll with it help desk account and the ownership of this machine must be listed as corporate owned so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on start, then I'll click on settings, and now I'm going to click on accounts. And then I will click on access work or school account, and then I will click on connect. Okay, I'm following the same process because we have to see that whether block personally owned devices is going to make any impact with this enrollment or not. Okay. So now I'm going to click on this option which says join this device to Azure Active Directory and here I'm going to sign in with my help desk account which is IT help desk at the red concepts work.com and now I'm going to type my password and I'll click on sign in. The expected behavior is we should get that prompt that this particular device is getting Azure AD joined as well as this particular device will also get enrolled in Intune which was not the case in the video which we have seen lastly when we were discussing about enrollment restriction okay so i got that prompt i clicked on join and let's see whether this machine gets joined to azure ad or not let me repeat this once again that if the same machine will be enrolled by a user who is not a part of dem this enrollment will fail but since we are using a dem account the expected behavior is that this particular device will get registered in Azure AD as well as will get enrolled in Intune and this is what we can see from our current state. Now there is also one more very important fundamental which I would like to address here and that is that since it's a VM this particular machine which I'm showing you right now it's a VM if any user or any other user apart from IT help desk will try to sign in into this particular machine they will get a typical error that you are not a part of remote users group so you will not be able to sign in and since this machine is joined to Azure Active Directory you cannot go ahead and manually add that particular user but the fact is that if this would have been a physical machine everything will be in place okay so if you are using this deployment model for physical machines everything will remain same the moment you will restart your machine you can hand over this machine to any of your users and they will be able to sign in into a particular machine altogether okay so now what i'll do is i'll click on done i'll get my machine restarted and i will quickly show you that particular error which comes if this model has been implemented for a vm now as you can see that my machine is restarted and instead of using it help desk i'm using an account which is entered at the rate concepts work.com and if i'll type in my password 
this is the typical error that we get but this is something which you will not get if you are using a physical machine just to make relatable what and all i'm saying i'll click on ok and now let's try signing in with the same account with which we enrolled this particular machine and let's see if it works or not okay so the expected behavior is that i should be signed in now and let's see what is the user experience and as you can see i'm getting signed in okay so this is something which you have to pay attention if you are doing this for vm but if it is a physical machine everything will be in place and you can do all the testing one last thing to verify now and that is the ownership of this particular device so i'll go to devices and then i'll go to windows and now this enrollment restriction is showing as corporate owned okay so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this particular video we have discussed about device enrollment manager what are the benefits of using device enrollment manager and how you can implement dem to adhere to least privilege standard now in the next video i'm going to talk about how to onboard hybrid azure really join machines to intune so that you can leverage all the compliance policies or you can push updates from Intune instead of any of your on-prem solution. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn something new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.